When you see two square roots, your heart can drop. Not today! Let's go! To find x, first we need to get rid of these two square roots. Let's look at our steps. The first step is isolate the square root. If more than one, pick which one to isolate. We have two square roots and they are both isolated, so we don't need to isolate them. The next step says square both sides. So let's square both sides in order to get rid of these two square roots and get x out of there. All right. So when you square the square root, you get the expression underneath. So we will have 5 minus 2x equals x plus 2. Fantastic! I love it! Look at step number three. Still have a root? Nope, we don't have a root anymore, so we don't need to repeat the steps. The next step says solve resulting equation. So we can totally do it. Look, we need to make the decision where we are going to keep x, on the left side or on the right side. Some of you like to keep x on the left side, so let's go with it. So in order to have x isolated on the left side, we are going to subtract 5 from both sides, right? So 5 minus 5 will give us 0. We will have negative 2x equals x, and then 2 minus 5 will be negative 3. Very good. What do we do next? We subtract x from both sides, right? In order to keep it on the left, negative 2x minus 1x will give us negative 3x. Very good. Then x minus x will give us 0, and then we will have negative 3. All right. The next step, we are dividing both sides by negative 3 in order to separate negative 3 from x. So dividing both sides by negative 3, and we will have negative 3x divided by negative 3 will be positive 1x, or just x, and on the right, negative 3 divided by negative 3 will be positive 1. Very good! Now, this is important. We must check all solutions. But why? Why do I have to check my solution if I didn't do anything wrong? Because the method of squaring both sides may produce extraneous solutions may produce solutions that do not check out. Even if you didn't do anything wrong, we must check solutions. So let's check it. So I'm going to rewrite my original equation, and I'm going to take 1 and plug in everywhere I, where I see x. So 5 minus. So what we are doing, we are checking, right? Checking. Right here. Checking. So 5 minus 2 times 1 is it equal to square root of 1 plus 2? Now, let's see. 5 minus 2 times 1 will be square root of 3. And on the right side, we also got square root of 3. So our solution, x equals 1, checked out because we have square root of 3 equals square root of 3. But if these are not equal, then our solution doesn't check out, and it means the the equation does not have solutions, so you must always check solutions. So our solution x equals 1 checks out. Did this video help you? Press the like button and subscribe, and let's work together as a team. And I will see you in my next video.